Reef Dudes is sponsored by Ecotech Marine and Bulk Reef Supply. Today, we're going to make an automatic frozen fish reef feeder. What's going on guys? Devin from Reef Dudes. So today we are making an automatic fish food, frozen fish food or refrigerated fish food feeder for Dylan's fish tank when he's going on vacation. So we picked up a little tiny pop can mini fridge off Amazon. We got ourselves a Versa and we are going to turn this little guy into a frozen food feeder. Um, so first off, we gotta figure out how we're gonna mount it. I'm actually thinking we might use the handle and can just kind of mount it above, gives us a little space for our tubing. And we're gonna drill a hole into the top of the fridge so that we can suck our food out of a glass that's holding all of our pre-mix, free-frozen, like brief nutrition, or some frozen mysis inside of the fridge. So, let's get to drilling. All right, so the Versa does spin this way, so it should suck up on the right-hand side, or left from the front. Now we're gonna mount this just above it. So we're gonna use some hot glue just to put this in place. Put some on either side of this handle to make a little mount. And we'll do a strip along the bottom to hold the Versa in place. And for good measure, we'll just do this to seal off the hole a little bit better. Now it's pretty solid, but still a little bit shaky. So I think we're actually gonna make a little brace using the shelf inside. Since I don't think we'll ever use it for anything else. We could actually just glue it just like that. Or put it inside this little groove, which would probably be stronger. There we go. One in the, one in the middle. Super solid. Little hot glue to seal the deal. Don't you love hot glue? It's so convenient. I've, I've seen people build them with wine coolers, actually, like the wine bottle coolers. Oh, cool. So I think this is just a slightly, slightly better version of that. I love how it all matches white. Yeah, that's better than chopsticks. These little glue sticks go I so fast. Or else this will be an expensive project. It'll work. I have faith in it. Yeah, the only possible issue is like if you use mysis, if it was too big to fit through the tubing. So as long as we pre throw on a cutting board and just kind of pre-chop it first and make sure it's smaller pieces, then it should be good to go. And also your recommendation was to go with the Versa because it was... Yeah, yeah, the, the Versa has larger internal tubing where a lot of other dosing pumps have smaller. So I think the larger internal tubing is going to give us better success with feeding food through it. Mm -hmm. Now, the funny thing is Dylan actually bought or put like a Kickstarter on a frozen fish food feeder like a year or two ago now. And you're still waiting for it. Oh, I've given up. Yeah, so this is what basically made this necessity to actually finally build this. And also, this might actually work out better. Probably. So I want to suck from the bottom of our container. I just travel too much, I can't. I can't have Devin come here feeding my fish every two days. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's too much work. I think I'm also gonna cut this out of 45 just to give it, make sure it doesn't like sit against the bottom because it more suction space. Man, how sick does that look? It's actually pretty sleek. Once I we get rid know, of our glue drips, right? that's not bad at all. Put it right beside the tank, little into the tank. It's like it was meant to be. I know. Should we uh, make some frozen food and test it? Oh yeah. Oh sure. yeah. So we got the Versa hooked up. Now we can put our food inside and prime the lines and figure out how much we want to actually dose. Our fridge is getting cool, which is perfect. And if we just manually tell it to feed through the lines, you can see our food is dripping in. Look at that. Wow. Heck yeah. Right in front of the power head too. Exactly. So we, uh, and it blows it all around the tank. I think that's just about perfect. That is awesome. And it's blowing it away from the overflow, which is better too. So if you wanted, we could schedule your tank to go in feed mode on your hydros and then schedule that, say, a couple minutes before this kicks on. If you want to get fancy, or you could just let it dose and circle the tank. Now, the only other little bit of a question is how much we want to dose. So I'm just going to say five mils and see how much we get. So we'll do five mils over 10 seconds. So see how much food came out there? Ba basically, the biggest thing is you just want a very short line so you don't have a ton of food sitting inside of it. Like ideally, I would put the fridge right beside it and just have a little bloop into the tank and there wouldn't be much in there at all, especially with twice a day feeding, right? right. It's only up for a couple hours, not a big deal. Right, I'm sure the food is still totally be fine. Yeah, like if it's out here for like half a day, it's not the end of the world. I wouldn't want to leave it for days though. Right, right. But, but personally, 
if I did, I'd put this beside the tank and have a little bloop bloop to the tank. Or we can mount it later on in your sump right beside your return pump. Right. right? Well, so it's just a very ch -ch -ch into it. And then there's not much out of the fridge. So anyway, so we got our little mini fridge from Amazon. We got our Versa. I mean, our, our rest, our mount for now is just a cutting board, but does the job pretty easy DIY. And now we have a vacation auto feeder. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this DIY. If you did, as always, be sure to hit that like button. If you make your own, let me know in the comments below how it goes. Otherwise, make sure you guys subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next video.